is the most wonderful time of the year. Where the kids and go belling and everyone telling you be a good cheer is the most wonderful time. No, it's not. It's not. Christmas time, Xmas time, gift giving time, however you want to look at it. This is the most weariest time of the year for some of us. It's the most expensive time of the year for a lot of us because we simply don't want to leave anyone now. Now, in January, you should have made a Christmas budget. You should have made an Xmas budget. You should have made a gift giving budget. However, I know people use all these terms for Christmas. We're just, I'm just giving you, I'm going to say gift giving, okay? I don't want to offend anyone. Gift giving. During this gift giving season, you should have made a budget a long time ago because now you're scrambling. Now you're going to your savings. Now you're selling some stocks. Now you're taking money out of your retirement, your 401ks and 401bs and all sorts of things, getting penalized and got to pay that back with interest just to buy people a freaking gift, okay? This is the thing, guys. You're going to have to call some people. Call them now. See, don't call them close to Christmas, two days, three days before Christmas. Don't do that. Don't do that. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. See, that's my thing. You wanna, you don't want to do that then, 12 days before Christmas. No, because everybody's in a Christmas mood. Everybody jolly, candy canes, stockings, Christmas trees, whatever, right? Or people are traveling to see family members. Don't do it then. Do it now. Do it even before Thanksgiving. Say, hey, uh, hey, um, yeah, um, Aunt Betty, yeah, I won't be able to send any gifts this year. Oh, baby, oh, baby, that's fine. It's okay. I love you. I love you too. But you can send them a card. See, this is the thing. We feel so guilty. We feel so bad because we want to give that person something, right? To show that I appreciate you. Because that's why I say gift giving. Because I'm not going to get into the religious piece. I'm just going to knock on it just a little bit. Christmas, you know, the celebration of Jesus Christ's birthday, it really has metamorphosized to something way more than that. Now this is kind of gift giving. And I'm not opposed to that. Gift giving to, I'm going to give you this to appreciate. I appreciate you. You appreciate me. Then some of us do it like out of like moral obligation. Okay. Well, he got me a present, so I'm going to get him a present. Or she got me a present. I'm going to get her a present. Oh, girl, you got me some. I ain't even know. I'm going to have to get you some. Oh, don't worry about it. But you feel guilty. So you have to give them something. This is the thing. The people who gave you presents in the past, and you know you really don't want to give them presents, or you don't have the money to get them presents. See, that's the real meat and potatoes. You don't have the money to give all these people, oh, my cousin, my nephew, my sister, my brother, my mother, my father, my grandparents, oh, my friend at work. We don't have all this money to say, oh, you don't got to be no expensive gift. But most gifts cost what? $10. $10. So $10 here, $10 there, 10 dollars You're like, how much you spent for Christmas this year? And I'm going to go on a low ball because I know some of you are like, oh, that's really low. $300. $300. On multitude of, Chris, of of Christmas presents, whereas though you may have one or two kids, or just have a significant other, where you just probably would have spent fifty dollars to hundred. Okay, this is my thing. Call those people now. Email those people now. Video chat those people now. Text those people now and say, hey, you know, Uncle Uncle John, Uncle whoever. I'm sorry, but you know, this year I'm not really giving out that many gifts. I'm just kind of having something small in my house. You know, money is short. Whatever. Just let them know. However you can finagle it, however you can word it, where you're not going to offend that person. And hey, if you're the person who offend, like, hey, look, I know y'all expecting gifts, but I ain't giving none out. And I'm not joking, okay? Don't expect nothing. Then don't. Or go to Dollar Tree and buy 20 Christmas cards and send them out to people. Hey, just want to let you know, God bless you, I love you, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Gift Giving Time, whatever, okay? And that's it. 
just want to let you know this is your present <laughs> okay however you want to however you want to tell them however you want to convey it to them but this is the thing some of us have the money that's not going to hurt our savings account that's not going to hurt our investments and we're going to give the people that we love and we like presents then there's some of us who don't have that much money we may have just enough to barely make it day by day and the only thing we can give is our love and that is 100 okay it was just my wife's birthday a couple of days ago and my son he was like you know i don't have any money he's, he's young i don't have any money to give mom a birthday gift and a lot of times the other parent like myself say oh here's some money to go buy your mom a present. I'm just giving you the story so you don't understand because this is a true story. 100% accurate happened yesterday. Yesterday, yes, yesterday. So he didn't have any money and most parents would give the other child money say, and to go to the store and buy them a present. I didn't do that because I want him to associate money with him working, not someone always giving you money. Okay, maybe sometimes I give him money to do his chores, but guess what? We all have a job in the house, so he may not always get an allowance. So the point I'm getting at, I said, you may not give her anything tangible as far as materialistic, but the most tangible thing that's everlasting is give her your love. Give your mom a hug, son. Give your mom a hug, a warm, heartfelt hug. Because she doesn't want anything from you. She's not expecting anything from you. And a lot of us are guilty because we don't have it. But a lot of times, some people in our family are just really good people and they just want your love. They don't want these materialistic objects for you to show you or show them that you love. They know that you love them and just give it to them. This is Ross World. I wish everybody to think about the things I'm saying here. Apply to your situation in your life as need be and don't feel guilty when you don't have stuff to give because when you give things that you don't have, you hurt you and your family that you're taking care of and that is not what this is all about. I love you. This is Ross World. I'm out.